Hey everybody, today I'm going to be going over how to get most out of Cortana. So we're going to start out by going down here to Cortana, and we have all of our menu items on the left. I'm going to open up the menu just so I can read them, because you can't read what they say unless it's maximized like that. I don't know why they did that. First thing I want to do is go to your notebook. It's going to make you sign in. Just sign in. Uh, I created an Outlook account just to sync my Cortana accounts. I don't actually use it. Uh, so I'll sign in with that account. So I already signed in, but it will just make you sign in. And the, the way you get the most basically out of Cortana is to use this notebook tab. What you're going to want to do is basically we'll select sort of your specifics for what you want to get from her. So she'll, she'll tell you your reminders for the day and things like that, but the most important stuff is actually down here. So I'm not in school, so I don't really care about the academics. Uh, Cortana tips. Uh, since I'm sort of new, I'm not really new to Cortana, but since I've been new, I've kept these on. Um, eat and drink, I keep these on. Um, events, I keep these on. These are basically just things that are happening in my local area. Like if it's a new restaurant, she'll notify me about it. It won't be like a pop-up notification or anything. It's just basically from, this is all kind of the stuff that you see in your home menu. So I have these stocks that I look at. I have this, uh, NASA stuff, I guess. I'm, I, I have the scientific thing checked so because I'm into that kind of stuff. Basically, whatever you're into, click on it and she'll put it up on your home feed sometimes. Sports is a really big one. Uh, you could be more specific, like I'm an Ohio State fan and if I wanted to add another team like the Cleveland Indians or some other team that's better, <laughs> uh, I could just save it and it, she'll notify me of basically stats and stuff like that, and like different games. Uh, another thing that you really need to do is just take a minute to go through these settings. Uh, let, let Cortana respond to Hey Cortana. Uh, if we turn that on, it's pretty nice. Uh, you have the option to keep it your computer from sleeping. Uh, don't click that, at least I don't. It's kind of cool because, so if you open up your browser, you say, Hey Cortana, what movies are playing? Here's some movies playing in Columbus, Ohio. The Hitman Cigar. So she Annabelle lists off creation. all of the, the movies that are basically playing in my area. Logan Luffy. I say, Dunkirk. Hey Cortana. What's Dunkirk about? In May 1940. So she does this full screen type of thing, which is actually really freaking cool, if you ask me. You can ask her anything. I mean, it's it's kind of like having one of those. It's kind of like having one of those home assistants, you know. Except that you're just pretty much using your computer. It's, it's extremely handy. Um, lock screen. I don't really care. People can use Cortana when it's locked. Uh, I don't let them go into my calendars or anything. That's why I uncheck this. Um, taskbar tidbits, I think I'll turn this off. Keyboard shortcut, I definitely turn this on because it's nice just to be, when you're in a browser or window or something, just click the Windows key plus C. If you click Windows and C, she just pops up here and then she'll show you anything. So let's say I say, tell me a joke. Why was the chicken afraid of the chicken? It was chicken. It's terrible. It's a terrible joke. But you know what? That's the kind of thing I like about Cortana. She seems to have more of like a personality than some of the other AI systems. And she actually, in my opinion, sounds a little bit more like a person than some of the robot voices. And I can't really talk much because I sort of have a robot voice. But you know what I mean. So, send notifications. Uh, I have that on. I definitely have my device history on, my search history on. My safe search is, I think it's off. Um, Basically, the best thing about Cortana is she can link between your devices, so you can put her on on your phone. Uh, they're coming out with this, uh, if you see it right here, it's devices. She, they're coming out with this Cortana speaker, like the Amazon Echo and the Google Home or whatever they call it, and whatever Apple's thing is. So they're coming, they're developing that. It's going to come out this fall, so it's kind of interesting to set this kind of stuff up now to see what it's going to be like later. I'm actually excited for it because Cortana is starting to grow on me. And, uh, and one other thing, if you go to your notebook and you do connected services, I have Office 365 because that's where I keep my main calendar and everything, and my Outlook.com, which is just 
where I sync up my different Cortana accounts. I know I probably make it a little more complicated than it has to be, but if I say, open my calendar. Okay, opening calendar. She opens up my calendar and then I synced up my Windows 10 calendar, which just lives on my computer with my work calendar. And I don't have too much scheduled, but if I say, what do I have going on today? You have one event today at 9 p.m. test appointment. So she reads off this test appointment that I created, but as long as I keep making these appointments on my work calendar, they automatically get synced over and she just reads them off to me. So I never have to really worry about it. What do I have going on two weeks from now? You have one event Monday, September 4th. <laughs> Here it is. So Labor Day, I don't really use my work calendar too much, but you can see how this can be extremely handy when you have a very busy schedule and you really hook up your appointments probably a little bit more organized than I do. Anyway, it's just kind of nice because it's like just a little bit of news on what's going on. And I know that you're sort of restricted to only using Bing, but I gotta be honest, since I've been using Cortana, like Bing, Bing is totally fine. I would never say, oh, I'm gonna Bing something like I Google something, but still it's like, I don't mind typing something into your like tutorials and then have her pop up and Bing. Bing is totally fine to me. So if you're cool with the Cortana stuff and you want to learn how to get the most of it, I hope this helped. Um, I definitely recommend setting up your speakers so that they can hear you. I think I have it going from a webcam right now, so it's not that great, but I mean, I don't have to talk into a speaker. I can just talk to my computer normally. So anyway, I hope that this helped you out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you found anything cool to do with it, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.